last night's severe weather is leading to a lot of damage in the valley this morning. Boardman was really hit hard with heavy flooding. We're going to turn now to First News reporter Hannah Erdman live in Boardman this morning, showing us what's happening now. Hannah. Chelsea, good morning. There was plenty of storm damage from yesterday's storms that happened. There was a lot of flooding, a lot of wind, as you saw with that potential tornado also in, in Boardman. But we are looking here on 224 over my left shoulder, looking good this morning. You can see actually on the ground, you can even see some of that debris and some of that also just all the leaves and the mulch, all that came up on water. We're actually in the Boardman Plaza parking lot and you can see the cleanup efforts are still underway. There is Surf Pro here helping clean up businesses from flooding yesterday. The flooding was the big issue. Take a look. This is some of more of that storm damage that happened yesterday. Basements, streets and backyards all experienced flooding with rainwater. Some said it was the worst they had seen in years. Boardman Plaza and parts of 224 were hit hard. We spoke with neighbors that were dealing with the mess left behind from the storms. They say the storm caused thousands of dollars in damage that many say they just can't afford. I'm going to put bleach down and hope for the best because I can't replace all those appliances. I don't have that kind of capital. Brandon says he bought the $55,000, but he says the cost to fix all the problems will cost two thirds of what the home's value is. From yesterday's storm, Brandon said his appliances, including furnace, washer, and dryer, will most likely need to be replaced. And as we know, flooding is not a new problem here in Bourbon Township. Officials have announced throughout the last year or so there are projects in place that they've put to help with the flooding situation. But we haven't really checked in on that in a while, so we're hoping to learn more from officials this week to see exactly what the updates are and if it's helped at all. We'll bring you the latest when we know more. Live in Boardman, Hannah Erdman, First News This Morning. And I do want to take this time to remind you that when severe weather happens, this right here is a great tool to have. It's our free Storm Team 27 weather app. You can find all the weather info you need to stay safe right in the palm of your hand. You can download it right now in your phone's app store.